Hello there and welcome back to another edition of the Hot Lap Classic Remastered. This time I take a look at the 1998 Citroen Saxo 1.6 VTS. One of my all time favourite hot hatches. I love the Citroen Saxo. It's ridiculously comfortable um, from what I remember from being in them. It looks great, pokey engine, plenty of potential. These cars are fantastic and that's why they're as rear as hen's teeth because they all got ruined. Uh, me personally, maybe I'd go for a VTR, you know, it's supposed to be a little bit sharper handling, but either way, uh, the VTS is an excellent, excellent car. Very similar to the Peugeot 106, which I've also pledged my allegiance for. Between the Saxo and the 106, I probably would go with the Saxo, just because I prefer uh, Citroen as a brand, but still, very, very excellent cars, both of them. In case you're wondering why this isn't running a uh, racing modification, that's because, thanks to the GT2 Plus mod, uh, the Saxo rally car is a separate model now, so we'll see that go around later on. So we've ran this without the racing modification, which I think is good because I like the way the road car looks, although I do like the racing mod as well. Anyways, front engine, front wheel drive, 268 horsepower, 860 kilos. So pretty decent statistics, actually a lot of power for a car like this, so uh, we'll see how it gets along. It is going to get six laps of the Motorsports Land track and it efforts to the best time it possibly can. Our current leader is the Ford GT90, a 28.180, the Saxo is not beating that. In terms of where the Saxo is going to end up, Opal Corsa 31.407, uh, 106 Rally, where did that end up? 31.042, that was racing modified, but even still. Um, somewhere around there, this has got the power advantage on the, uh, the 106, which, I'm sorry, 280 horsepower out of this is insane. And I also quite like the idea, or I'm, I don't know, I don't know if I like the idea of it, but I still think it's quite funny that even though the 106 and this share engines, this can get tuned significantly higher than a 106 can. I think the 106, the S16 is the most powerful model and that tops out at about 210 horsepower, 220 somewhere around there. 31.089 on its first proper lap, so that's good. It's a tidy handler. I will say it doesn't feel like it's got 280 some odd horsepower. It actually feels slower than that. Um, I don't know if it is going to turn out to be slower but this is just based on feels at the moment. Um, it does feel slower than that Daihatsu Sirion I drove not long ago uh, which had like 177 horsepower. It has beaten that Sirion, it's gone quite quick actually. I think 30.869 puts it in sort of the topper echelon of the front wheel drive cars we've had. So that's good on the Saxo. I'd say it drives really, really well actually. It doesn't feel as quick as you might expect it, but it drives well. And that's, uh, and that's the important part, I think, for a course like this anyway. Of course, straight line speed is important, especially down that back straight, but to an extent, you know. I really wish it did have a bit more straight line speed. This with a bit more straight line speed would have been absolutely unstoppable. In its current form, maybe not so much. I did mess up that second, that sector a little bit. Alright, come on, final lap, everything we can get out of the Saxo, and we're already off to an appalling start with that lap, because I've understeered off. So, good on me. I think there's a little bit more time in this, but we're not going to see it, unfortunately. Shouldn't have hit that wall. If I sort of took that corner a little bit more properly, uh, this would have gone quicker. But either way, a little bit understeery, but not too bad. 30.840, I'll take it. That is actually really good, to be fair. That's really, really good. Uh, you'll see where that's ended up in a second. But that's, uh, yeah, right around the sort of upper echelon of uh, hatchbacks. 
good car. Like I say, it just doesn't feel like it makes that 280 odd horsepower. It's not quite as sprightly as that. Definitely point two in it, but you know, compared to something like the Fiat Punto, it's just not as quick. It just doesn't feel as quick. Um, the Golf V5, which is sort of similar to this, more straight line speed. Uh, 30.840. We'll place this in to 52nd place. It is quicker than a Civic Type R, quicker than a Roof CR4, very slightly quicker than the Dodge uh, concept car. It's 0.1 up on the Astra and Ford Focus, which are similar sort of powers, really. It's quite far up. In terms of leaderboard positions, it's almost 20 up on the 106 Rally, but in terms of actual like lap times, there's only 0.2 in it. Good car. Really, really good, strong statistics. I'm happy with that. Uh, be interesting to see how the rally car gets along because, you know, maybe a little bit more downforce on the front end could have really helped us out. I guess we'll find out. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching and join me next time when I'll be driving something completely different. Until then, farewell.